Airplanes stop in the middle of the air, hover, float or even fly backwards. In YouTube more and more videos showing such phenomena are shown. UFOs, Mandela effect or the end of the world? I would like to answer these questions here. UFOs or aliens, holograms, doomsday, glitch of the time or of the matrix of the, our space-time structure, Mandela effect, all this is extensively discussed again and again. I analyzed these videos and recreated them with a drawing program and a video program. That's what it looks like when we point the camera out of the car at the plane. We can tell by the movement of the landscape that the plane is flying on. And this is what it looks like when a building covers the landscape. The plane stands in the air, it is hovering, it even seems to stick to the building. It is exactly the same video simulation, the same landscape, only once with house and once without. And when the landscape is clear, the plane flies. With a house, it stands. Now it is flying again and now the landscape is hidden. The impression is the plane stops. If we can see beyond the house, then the plane will fly on, even if we only see the mountains. Now it becomes difficult when everything is covered, then the plane stands for our eyes. Cover the landscape and house with a piece of paper. Then you only see the clouds and you can see that the plane actually flies in relation to the clouds. Even a tall forest covers the landscape so that the plane seems to hover. And there, too, you can cover the forest with a piece of paper and see that the plane is still flying. How does that look on our YouTubes? For copyright reasons, I only show hard copies. In these videos, buildings obscure the view, the buildings obscure the landscape behind. Nowhere can you see to the horizon. Nowhere you can see that the aircraft is moving in comparison to the landscape. Here it is a building and a forest. Here a forest. Here a group of trees and again forest. Nothing can be seen behind it. My conclusion, filming from the moving car and a few obstructions in the landscape, this seems to stop any aircraft. UFOs, aliens or Mandela effect, that's just the wrong question. The right question must be, how does our perception function? Why do we see exactly the same aircraft in the same landscape, once as flying and once as standing? Optical illusion. That is the core message of my video. And if you want, you can now watch the individual YouTubes and use the paper test. Just hold a piece of paper over the landscape. If you don't have a paper, take your hand. Or you look on the website gensalesworld.eu. There are many interesting details in the chapter Optical Illusions and Fakes. The link gensalesworld.eu slash type 1 leads you exactly to the place with the optical illusions. There are also analyses of numerous videos in this topic. In the near future, I will also produce a video about fakes, namely about aircraft that seemingly fly backwards. If I have sparked your interest in optical illusions, stay tuned to this video because I'll explain the details now. With a fixed camera, it looks like this. The movement is clear, but the plane is gone. So we all make it a little better. We turn the camera and always aim for the plane. It looks like this and the movement of the landscape shows us that the plane is flying forward. In fact, the plane stops in the middle of the camera image. But because we sit in the car ourselves, it gets even more complicated. The landscape next to the highway flies past us in the opposite direction. 
Something similar happens when I point the camera from a moving train on a single tree. The landscape in front of it has a different direction than the landscape behind it. The lines of view from the camera to the plane form a kind of fan and they intersect at a certain point. We recognize the movement of the aircraft by mean of the back of the landscape, behind the red trees. Everything that is in front of the red trees shows us the movement of our own car. The red trees themselves stand still. This is the optical resting point. The red trees are where the lines of view intersect. The landscapes in front of and behind the red trees are moving in opposite directions. So we need a broad view of a landscape in the distance to see if the plane is flying. In my simulation video I purposely created ideal conditions with hills and mountains in the distance. This is not entirely true because airfields are mostly in large planes. In the car we sit at a mere five feet above the ground and a house or a few trees are enough to hide completely the view into the distance. Our eye only sees that we ourselves are moving in the car, but the plane stands in the middle of the camera image. Strictly speaking, of course, it is not the eye, but the visual cortex, the primary and, above all, the secondary and tertiary visual cortex. The visual cortex makes an image of the environment from what comes in through the eyes by the rays of light. In this image interpretation by the brain, individual and perhaps also psychological variants of perception play an important role. One sees the house and the plane as a single unit, because they are close together. And because the house doesn't move, the plane doesn't move either in his imagination. Another separates the plane and the house because he knows that the plane is much further away and he looks for landmarks at a similar distance as the plane. And he is either looking for distant trees, distant mountains or the clouds and when they move he concludes that the plane is flying forward. And if he finds nothing, if the horizon is obscured and the sky is completely clear, then he concludes that he cannot judge the movement of the aircraft accurately and that it probably flies. The paper strip also helps to separate the near landscape and the distant plane in your visual imagination. Up to now I've always been talking about a car and a plane driving in opposite directions and the videos found on YouTube are all built on filming an oncoming plane out of a car. Only when the plane approaches from ahead you can discover it in the front window of the car and you turn the camera and you can film the aircraft for a long time. Is there now also the possibility of an optical illusion if the plane flies in the same direction? Well, it looks very different then. In this clip the plane flies about three times as fast as the car, but the lines of view from the car to the plane do not cross and are all nicely side by side. You hardly have to turn the camera. Of course you first have to discover the plane in the back window of the car, but then the landscape moves evenly everywhere. So the same landscape shows you that your car is driving and it also indicates that the plane is flying, because everything is in the same direction. And that is why no optical illusion can develop in this situation. That's why you will never see any Mandela effect with a plane flying in the same direction as your car. If we talk about planes which stop in mid-air, we have to differentiate three types. If it's a big plane and if it is filmed out of a running car, then it is an optical illusion 
and that's the topic of this video. If it is a big plane and if it is filmed of an apparently stationary position and if it is flying backwards then it will be a fake, this will be the topic of my next video. If it is a small plane then it will be effect of strong headwind for small planes are able to fly at low speed. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I could explain a lot to you. Maybe now you can see planes with a different eye, no matter if in the video or outdoors. So I wish you a good time and I say bye bye until next time.